What's different about Japan? Besides everything. I mean, you're taking it there, obviously. I mean, if they show that you're not a computer <laughs> and you only have 15 cards oh. in your side, you present it. Good. So oh. Yeah, we used to, that's an old, that's like just a... We used to do that. That's just an old sportsmanship really thing. Really bad. I'm not sure which. That's just because Japan is, like, super sportsmanlike. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey now. I'm going to decide what to do with that. Hey. Oh. I will try this. Um, sure, why not? Delver of Secrets. Here it comes. Sure. Oh, yeah. Go down. Under growth. What is happening? <laughs> There's a legacy, right? Battlefield draw card, enchanted one mana of any color. Yeah, it's happening. Alright, trigger the draw. Yep. Pass. Turn. Send one. Uh, you go. Mm. Well, growth. Two green. Guys, touch. That one doesn't net mana, it just makes it a rainbow land. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
Okay, you got it. Go, go ahead. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get a get a black. Uh, get a yeah. Get a black. Dismember target insect respond. Days the dismember. Sure. Watery grave. Yep. With the black. Two two. Oh, yeah. Death shadow. Uh, oh, go ahead. I feel like this number is probably dead in this match. <laughs> it might be. Make two green mana, three white. Yep. I don't think we need to track. Are you sure? Welcome to. Replenish. I can stop, we'll stop. Enchantress presence. You have how many cards in it? Three. Two, three, four, five, six. Force. Enchantress presence. Seven, eight. Academy here, just two green. Sure, go ahead. Send. I'm looking at five, mm. six, uh, six. Yep. Take it. <laughs> you go. Make two green. Mm. Cast guy's touch trigger. Um. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Have two cards in hand. I have two. Aria, no. Uh, elephant grass trigger. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to sack this. something. Pay two. Pay two. Yeah. Okay. Give me a cumulative upkeeps one. Correct. Um, Alright, go ahead. Keep. Um, pay two green. Pay one of the cumulative I upkeeps. Burn well. the other. Three win picks. Let's make green and white. Yeah. We'll float a white targeting this one. Sure. Draw. So it enters the battlefield. Uh, choose a color. I'll choose green. I have a white floating. start getting really interesting. Yep. <laughs> I mean, elephant grass. Yeah. How many counters does it have on it? That's actually not bad. Sure. <laughs> to add some more. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna board out all my black creatures, because that's just garbage versus elephant grass. Six. Mm -hmm. 
fine with that. <laughs> Too many land drops in that game. Yeah. <laughs> Not helpful. Nope. I was like one mana away from just being able to completely stabilize. Assuming you didn't have any interaction. But... Yeah, no, I stubborn an eye on my hand. I guess I was two mana away from stabilizing. <laughs> well, it was a hard counter at that point because of the Death Shadow. I was at eight. Oh, okay. It's a 5 5, so it's a. Yep. Yeah. No, I mean, it was an interesting decision. Like, I, I don't know. Like, burning the days just to grow and get a Death Shadow down. Like, I would have had a daze, which would have allowed me to counter another spell somewhere in there. But. Gotta get things moving. I did get things moving, but then Elephant Grass shot him down. But, like, you know, if I gave you another turn, things can start to get much, much worse. So. <laughs> yeah. So. I'll be on the play. Yeah. Yeah, I think you I think you will. I'll try to figure YOLA. Never mull. I just put that on a play mat, just never mull. Is that like outside notes? Can you consult that during the game? Is that. I feel like that might be right on the line there. You get, I think you're allowed to look at your own notes. Not in the middle of the game, right? I don't know. I think only during sideboarding. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think that's, that might be over the line. <laughs> might, might just have to do it anyways. I'm going to get rid of that rule. Oh, there we go. Since, uh, I will keep it. Um, it's going to go fine. In, in response. Okay. Sure. No force. <laughs> yeah, it's in. You can go to game three if you want. Go ahead. Alright, let's fetch. What you got there? Foxies. Oh no. Enchantress balance. Straightforward. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven. All right. All you. I 
some alpha and beta wild growths. Yeah, bet you do. Well, I don't think they're that bad. I don't. I don't I actually don't think they're that expensive. Pretty far away. Go ahead. Did I actually have a lot of burning? Oh, really? Huh. That's a real decision. What deck? I mean, for sure, I need to do that. This is a question of the other ones. I guess I'm gonna. Take the choke. So we have our Gothian in hand. We'll jam a death yes. shadow. Sure. Here you go. It's apparent. Street Wraith. Oh, nice. Ten? Yeah. Go ahead. I can pull something together. Nope. So the, the big decision there for me was to thought sees and death shadow or brainstorm shuffle death shadow no, i don't know yeah it's tough like i mean it worked out it's like the best i can hope for like off of brainstorm i think is like counter magic which like if i get force of will then i basically get to counter the choke like, how is that better than thoughts easing now and setting more of a clock with Death Shadow? Right. Forces me to have the actual um, elephant grass. Yep. Yep. No, I just didn't get to... The, the edict was savage, because I might have been able to play my my Enchantress's presence... Well, play Enchantress's presence next turn, have access to at least three mana after that uh, yeah. one two three four. Have access to five mana so two mana after that I'd probably get get things going but i also have to start drawing two cards at a time 
Yeah. Yeah. E seems kind of ridiculous. E seems, seems like, like an undust up card in this <laughs> matchup. It seems like it undoes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, obviously, the creature removal is hot garbage here. Mm -hmm. um, we were actually just talking about Eidolon of Blossoms and how yep. much mana that is. Like, is that running any copies of it? Just one. One. Yep. You can, like, Zenith for it. Yep. The, the reason to play it over, like,. What's the one? It's like Verudian Enchantress or something. Yeah, the alpha one. Yeah, um, it's a two and a green. That one's not an enchantment. It's not an enchantment, and it's a very vulnerable creature. Exactly. Like only, it turns on all the creature mobile. Um, yep. I mean, so just, does the Eidolon. But. Just one of these, just for... It's just good. Yeah, I've, like seen, it, I've seen a bunch of different builds of Enchantress lately. I, I saw one that was running... Uh, Opalescence yeah, and Parallax Wave, mm. and that is that is Frown Town for people who don't know what it is, because like they think they can play through it, and you're just like, the judge can't tell you that you're dead to this, <laughs> but like you're trying to win with creatures, and it's literally never gonna happen, ever. Like it's always gonna eat all your guys. So how does so does Parallax Wave just not die or something? Parallax Wave. Uh, it can exile itself, and when it exiles itself, it brings itself back. Gotcha. So it's it literally like it came into standard back in Nemesis with Errata. They were like, oh, well, we can't let it do that. That's because Sixth Edition came out right around then. So they're like, oh, well, the way the rules work now, people would be able to do all of this stuff, and then put me at war. Creatures, lands, definitely. Exactly. Way too